So it feels about time to do a quick update on these Redwing boots. Uh, these are the 3345s. Um, it's been around about 10 months since I started wearing these. Um, also a few people actually messaged recently asking how they were doing so now seems the perfect time. Uh, as I say 10 months uh, probably represents about six months real wear. These have been worn in rotation with other boots. Um, had just come out of summer in the UK here so there's been a few months where they haven't seen much wear at all. Um, so if these were your sort of project boots or if you were really focusing on them you could easily get them to this level of patina uh, in six months if not less depending what you're doing with them but yeah really really pleased with these um, just a little bit about the boots if you haven't seen the first video these are built on the eight last so that's a, a bump toe last which gives that sort of really pronounced toe so lots of room in there for your feet and a good sock uh, shares the same last with the Iron Rangers, you know, that really iconic uh, silhouette from Red Wing. I think it gives a little bit of a more subtle uh, toe profile. These seem to maybe have not been quite as proud as these. Um, initially I did miss this nice toe cap detailing. I think that's really nice on the, uh, on the Iron Rangers, but with a bit of wear that sort of building up of the patina, that sort of brown core sort of popping through, a few creases. I think these are looking a little bit less plain and boring. I'm really pleased with them. So yeah, in terms of sizing, um, my advice generally uh, in recent years has been go down half a size, certainly on round toe boots for Red Wing and half a size down on these been perfect. So easy break in, um, still plenty of room to wiggle your toes with a good boot sock and um, you know, point of reference. I'm wearing pretty much uh, darn tough exclusively with my boots now. I will do some sort of video on these. Um, absolutely fantastic, really hard wearing, super comfortable, um, need to be a bit careful on how you wash them. They can shrink in tumble dryer, so I don't tend to tumble dry them. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. And they and they honour their warranty, which is you know, really important to me. No fuss, easy exchange. I've got probably I don't know, over half a dozen pairs now. I've only had to exchange one pair, which was probably a pair I started around 2019. So they last for ages honour their warranty, super comfy, yeah, very happy with Darn Tough, can recommend them. I'll do some sort of video on those in the future. But yeah, as I say, plenty of room for your toes. Uh, good boot sock really helps out with the comfort underfoot because these are pretty thin and solid sold. Um, not particularly comfortable by modern standards. Not as comfortable as the Christie wedge you'd find on uh, Mock Toe. Uh, 875s, uh, those are classic Red Wings that most of you are familiar with. Um, but yeah, very easy braking. Pretty easy to give on the width. There's no hot spots, there's no stitching around the toe, there's no toe cap, there's no seam. Very easy to brake in. I think maybe the toe profile may, might be dropping a little bit, which I quite like. Uh, I must try an unstructured toe at some point, whether that's the, the uh, Beckman variant or maybe something from another brand, but sometimes you like to see the toe collapse and maybe we'll get there with these, but pretty solid at the moment, um, but looking pretty good. Lots of nice wear. So probably the thing to talk about is always the leather and the patina with these. You have seen this style of boot before. You know Red Wings, but the black prairie leather is really what drew me to these boots. I've had this silhouette before in the Spitfire leather, which is a waxed rough out. Got the sizing wrong on those, so I went for a true to size on those. So I sold those on. Uh, no problem selling them on. Easy to sell your Red Wings if you get the sizing wrong. But yeah, so this is the Prairie leather. So the magic there is this uh, brown core, this T core. Um, recently in discussion on Reddit, there's some description of this being a painted leather. So effectively you've got the the brown tan leather underneath and this 
black coating is simply painted on um, and over time it wears off so some of it will come through on scuffs so we've got a nice big scuff there on the toe um, but in general you get that more subtle sort of fading of the black coating exposing the brown I think it's probably coming quite quite nicely through under these uh, LED lights over time they'll really age rather nicely these haven't been treated at all so simply brushing them off keeping the dust out of the welts give them that little bit of extra life um, but like a lot of my boots I run them dry dry leather tends to show through the patina a little bit better these have not seen a lot of wear over the past year never been oiled uh, you start getting that slight color variation where the oil sits and where it's worn away so I tend to like to keep my boots somewhat dry um, but I was wondering you know what what to do with these next and uh, as I say went on reddit had a bit of a chat uh, with a painted leather some referred to that not being able to soak in any conditioners uh, others suggested that it would simply darken up the leather and remove all the benefits of that sort of brown core showing through so I was pretty much settled on keeping them dry uh, but then a redditor <laughs> came along and showed me some pictures of his boots uh, he'd been using the uh, red wing leather green got that pretty much uh, especially for Oro original because it doesn't really darken it um, does does what it says on the tin so that's pretty good for your 875s and anything with the Oro original leather but he's been using that and his boots look fab so I think I'll probably give these a little bit of a treatment with that and uh, see what happens. I don't actually mind if that scuff's darkened down a bit. It does stick out a little bit. Initially I was a bit excited thinking that that would be the pattern across the whole boot but um, after that, which happened probably in the first week wearing them, uh, no real big scuffs but that gentle wearing of the colour. So, patinering nicely and probably what we should do is get in and have a look at some close-ups. But before we do, my fellow Reddit boot enthusiast a gentleman called Paco all the way from Mexico was kind enough to share with me some photos that he'd taken of his boots and allow me to use them in this video uh, he's been working on those since 2022 the patina is absolutely wonderful as I say he's been using that uh, red wing leather cream so I think that's a, a recommendation if anyone's needed a little bit of an indication of where my boots can be in a year or two's time just taking a close-up look now, lots of patina sort of building up on the toes there. As I say, this scuff on the right-hand boot um, happened pretty much in the first week of wearing. Thought that would be a sort of sign of things to come, but the other patina has been much more gentle. You can see a little sort of, was a flap, well, it's a flap of leather there. Um, yeah, so maybe we'll put some conditioner in that, maybe get that looking a bit more uniform but it is good to illustrate the, the core there. Just sort of moving around the boot a little bit. You've got the Vibram Mini Lug sole. Plenty of wear to go on that. Heels wearing off a little bit to the side, but these harder rubber soles are much better for me and my over or under pronation, whichever way it is. Quite nice uh, stitching. So you've got the triple and double stitch but only one contrasting line on it which I think looks rather nice but yeah it's all about the patina so you can start seeing the the brown core coming through on the toes there really does show up really well under these lights or in bright sunlight a little bit on the heel there from scuffs and kicks over time I imagine a little bit more will come through there. Nothing really going on up the ankle, on the tongue. What I've expected, a little bit where the laces rub. Not an awful lot going on there, a little bit of a pop in the middle there. A little bit on the heel there where your feet scuff together. But yeah, really coming up rather, rather nicely. 
These laces are interesting. I did comment initially that they're very different. They're sort of waxed cotton lace, which actually wear quite nicely. Um, but one is so much more waxed than the other. Um, you know, the left, right, left one here is still pretty rigid with wax, and the right-hand one is uh, completely floppy. So not quite sure what happened at the Red Wing factory on that. Um, Left-hand boot, same story really. A little bit more gentle patina around the toe. Same sort of scuffs on the heels, both sides. But yeah, very, very nice. Developing nicely. Well, that pretty much brings us to the end of the update on these. Um, I will post on Instagram as they develop any further patina. I think they're going to look pretty amazing over time. Um, plenty of wear left on those soles. Uh, we'll give a go uh, treating that leather. Um, but yeah, I think we'll uh, leave it there. Um, but I will give you a quick sneak peek of something that's coming up on the channel, something I'm a little bit excited about. So these are some boots which were actually very kindly gifted to me uh, by an Instagrammer that goes by the name of Boot Reaper, uh, Mario. Um, these didn't quite fit him. They're a shade large for me, but I'm going to give it a go in the uh, winter months with some good thick boot socks. And these are the Black Shrunken Bison. Uh, if you look at the grain on that leather, it's pretty amazing. Uh, mock toes from Truman. And I haven't tried Truman's before, but they're looking pretty amazing in terms of the construction. Really nice welt stitching on the bottom there. Nice sort of stacked heel. Uh, a little bit of a variant on the mock toes that you'll normally see. Really interesting leather, lovely construction. Um, yeah, so we'll have some updates or a little review of those. Uh, shortly. Okay, well if you haven't seen the channel before, please do check out my other videos. Lots of quality footwear, um, denim, bit of everyday carry, lots of bits and bobs over the years. So you might find that we share some other common interests. So do give that a look, subscribe if you'd like. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about the uh, Black Prairie leather, if you've had experience yourself, or indeed the, uh, the blacksmiths, anything else, chuck it in the chat. And that's about it. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye.